Hey friends, I'm John Laspina, your carnivore teacher. And if you want to understand health, real health, you have to understand the mitochondria because mitochondria aren't a supplement issue. They're not a calorie issue. They're not a motivation issue. They're an energy issue. So let's define them properly. Mitochondria, plural, are the energy producing organelles inside your cells. Their primary job is to convert fuel, fat, glucose, ketones into ATP, adenosine triphosphate, the energy currency that runs every process in your body. No ATP, no life. Every heartbeat, every muscle contraction, every thought, every immune response, every act of healing, that's mitochondria. Now here's the part most people miss. You don't have a few mitochondria. You have trillions of them. They're found especially concentrated in high energy tissues, your brain, your heart, muscles, liver, your kidneys. The more energy a tissue needs, the more mitochondria it contains. This is why mitochondrial health is metabolic health. When mitochondria are damaged or inefficient, you see fatigue, brain fog, insulin resistance, poor recovery, chronic inflammation, degenerative diseases. And this didn't happen by accident. Mm -mm. Modern life is hostile to mitochondria. Constant glucose spikes, seed oil and lipid peroxidation, ultra processed food, chronic inflammation, sleep deprivation, artificial light at night, sedentary behavior. All of these damage mitochondrial membranes and reduce efficiency. Now let's talk about the fuel question because this does matter. Mitochondria can burn glucose, but it's a noisy, inefficient fuel. It produces more reactive oxygen species and requires constant insulin signaling. Fat and ketones, on the other hand, are cleaner burning fuels. They produce more ATP per unit and generate fewer damaging byproducts when the system is healthy. This is where a carnivore diet comes in. Carnivore removes sugar and refined carbohydrates, removes seed oils that destabilize mitochondrial membranes, lowers insulin demand, reduces chronic inflammation, and supplies complete protein and bioavailable micronutrients. That combination creates an environment where mitochondria can repair, replicate, and function efficiently. And yes, you can grow more mitochondria. This process is called mitochondrial biogenesis. You stimulate it through fat adapted metabolism, intermittent fasting, resistance training, aerobic movement, cold exposure, which is optional, it's not mandatory, adequate protein and micronutrients. Carnivore supports this because it stabilizes blood sugar and allows the body to shift into fat-based energy production which signals the cell to build stronger, more efficient mitochondria. Protein matters too. Mitochondria are built from amino acids. You cannot repair or replicate them without adequate, complete protein, something animal foods provide effortlessly. Micronutrients matter as well. Iron, B vitamins, zinc, copper, magnesium, these are all required for mitochondrial enzymes and they're far more bioavailable in animal foods than plant sources. Now here's something critical. More mitochondria isn't enough. They have to be efficient. A cell with damaged mitochondria may produce energy, but at the cost of inflammation and oxidative stress. This is why reducing metabolic noise matters more than chasing hacks. Carnivore simplifies inputs less glucose volatility, less oxidative damage, and less chemical interference. That gives mitochondria the space to do what they evolved to do. This is also why people report sustained energy, improved endurance, better recovery, clearer thinking, improved insulin sensitivity. They didn't boost metabolism, they removed what was damaging it. And that's the theme here. Mitochondria don't need motivation, they need the right environment. Feed them stable fuel, reduce inflammation, sleep, move your body, lift heavy things, walk, ground, get sunlight, spend time in nature. 
and stop poisoning the system because when your mitochondria work, everything works and more effortlessly. Energy isn't something you chase. It's something you restore. If you found this helpful, click the thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and click that bell icon so that you get a reminder when I put out a video every day. And if you share this video by clicking that share button, get it out to more people, that would be great. And if you leave a question or a comment, I'll write you back. If you leave a suggestion, I might make a video from it. Thank you for watching about mitochondria. It's important we should know this information. Have a great day.